Hey everyone, so I've been playing with Plasticity Maya Bridge and it works really nicely, so I wanted to show it in action. So once you've installed the plugin for Maya, you just set up a live connection with Plasticity. Very easy setup and any actions that you confirm inside of Plasticity are automatically added to Maya, which is really, really cool. So if you want to get your CAD models into a rendering environment very quickly, this is a really awesome way to do it. So I love that you can activate Arnold and just like that, we can continue to work inside of Plasticity. Let me make some copies of this. And it just, that is just really cool. The little HDRI that I have from my garage. So if you wanted to, let's say, uh, continue modeling and let's cut this piece uh, with a curve here. And you can see that this should be happening in real time inside of Maya in a rendered environment, which is really, really sweet. So let's select some edges here. Let's give it a bevel. And yeah, that's it. I mean, if you wanted to get some hard surface stuff into a rendering environment, you didn't care too much about topology. This is a really cool way to do it. Look at that, it looks awesome. So obviously if you've never worked with CAD before, it's a different kind of beast because the topology that comes out of it, you have two flavors and it's, it's actually set up here. You can spit out n-gons or you can spit out tries. So the default is to come out looking like this. Uh, yes, it's try and you could just automatically send it into like a game engine or whatever, but this topology is pretty uh, nasty. So uh, you can refast it here with this cool tool. So let's say we did n-gons, it'll come out with quad patches. And while that looks good, if you've never worked with this, this can be a bit of a pain because you have to line up all the bevels. Like these got n-gons here, huge n-gons, and usually along any kind of beveled edges, you have to clean that up manually. However, there is a nice auto UV layout button right here. And again, if you didn't care about the topology, the model's not gonna deform and you just wanted a shot inside of Maya, this would be more for like pre-rendered stuff as opposed to video games, uh, this particular function. Uh, the UVs look pretty good. It's, it's laid out nicely. So that's it. Very, very cool. I think this is something worth exploring. Um, plasticity itself is, I think, a little bit Blender biased. I mean, the whole UI looks like Blender. It's kind of more intended for Blender. But this plugin by Scard, I don't know who the actual developer is by name, but check this out. It's $10 US or $15 Canadian. I think it's worth it. It makes uh, plasticity way cooler to use for Maya people.